Hi, this is Zach with Rabbit GPS, and in this video, I'm going to give you a real quick overview of two new premium features in our Activity Center. We're real excited about these features because they make the Activity Center quite a bit more powerful. Um, the first one is advanced filtering, which lets you really find any ride you're looking for, or you know, narrow down the list of rides you're looking at to exactly what you want to see. And the other one is activity tagging which is a great way to you know further filter what you're looking at I mean it's it's essentially a saved search uh, but you can really use it for a lot so let's go through and take a look at one example of how to use these features together so I'm gonna go to profile activity center and bring up the familiar interface here so the new feature here is advanced filters so I'm gonna go ahead and click to enable this feature and this will put me into the data table view and I'd like to look at all of my rides so I'll just uncheck this which means I'm looking at everything all 496 activities uh, I want to maximize the table view so I'll click this little maximize triangle here because I don't need the chart perfect now we're looking at just a data table of all my rides ever um, but what I'd like to do is find all the times that I was commuting uh, to and from uh, the office back in 2010 and 11 and go ahead and tag those as a commute so that I can easily just take a look at all my commutes I can graph them uh, etc so let's walk through that first I'll go ahead and just check off 2011 2012 and you'll see instead of 496 now I have 272 activities listed I can go down here and think for a second hmm my all my commutes were logged on routes actually not all of them but most of them and they were yeah it was like ride to work and ride home from work so I can just go ahead and search for ride work that'll catch both of those scroll through here and verify that the 109 activities I have selected these are all commutes so that's perfect so this is easy let's just check these off click add tags call it a commute looks good hit enter click update and it's that easy. Now all of these rides are tagged commute. I have the new commute tag here on the left with 109 activities that uh, are commutes. So I'm going to go ahead and eliminate this ride work search. And now we're looking at all the activities again. And now I can click commute. I get the commutes. I uncheck it. I'm back to looking at everything. But I, I think there's more activities that are commutes. So let's look at how to find those. Um, let's see, I know that my commutes were between four and six miles roughly. So I can just go down here, go to four to six miles. Perfect. Um, well, these ones that are already tagged commute, I don't need to look at those. So let's just select uh, untagged. All right, now those go away. We've narrowed it down to 37 activities. Um, but scrolling through here, the uh, first thing I notice is here's a hike. Here's a run. Um, here's some other runs, I think. And yeah, because that's that gear. Uh, those are my running shoes. So one nice thing I can do is I can also filter by average speed. So I know that I run slow, and I know that I ride my bike, you know, at least 10 miles an hour, usually faster. So let's bump up the average speed to 10. That should get rid of all my runs. Um, sure enough, if you look at gear, it's all my bike now. So I'm just going to go ahead and sort by distance. And now if I wanted to be real precise, I could actually click on these. So I'll click on this one. I think this is a commute, but let's check. So I, now it's showing me this activity I just clicked the name of. I can scroll down and just by looking at this map, I know, yeah, you know, I used to live here and I work downtown. So this is a commute to work. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, select a handful of these off. These are all commutes. I know a few more of these are, but we don't need to, you know, uh, waste the time to look through all of these right now. But I could check these off, add tags. I'll start typing commute. You'll see it gets auto completed because the tag already exists. I can click update, and this is perfect. Now I'll reset these filters real quick, and you'll see now my commute tag has 115 items in it. No longer just these routes. It also has these other ones I selected. So now I have a commute tag. I can easily get to these commutes whenever I want. 
And here's what's cool. I can expand this graph and see in 2010 and 11, here's all my riding by distance. If I click commute, you'll see the graph update. Now it's only graphing my commutes. Uh, I can go ahead and look at moving time. I, you know, use the graph the way you would use the graph, but it's only going to be showing what you have filtered. So tagging is a great way to take a, a you know a, a classification of rides, whether they're commutes or training rides. Um, you can really use it for anything you want. See, I have a couple tags here for things like century rides. So here's a couple centuries. Makes it really easy for me to go back and get to these rides. I use it as a sort of a saved search function. Um, but a lot of people are using it to separate their commutes from their training rides, uh, from rides that they actually do during during events, from races. So that way, when they go and they and they want to just get a list of all the races. Boom, they click on a tag, very easy. If they want to see a graph of only their training rides, but not have it be polluted by uh, their commutes to and from work, for example, or their leisure rides, it's very easy to do that. So it's a powerful tool that lets you organize your data sort of without restriction. You know, you don't have to, we don't have to give you uh, features to, to uh, say this is a race or this is a training ride. You can create your own categories and then tag your, your activities however you like. And then using these advanced filters, allows you to quickly get to the rides you're looking for. So uh, hopefully you enjoy these features. If you have any questions about them, please let us know. We're, we're real excited. Uh, we think these advanced filters and trip tags really do make the Activity Center a, a very powerful place where you can you know, work with years worth of activity data and easily find what you're looking for, bulk edit it so it's all organized and everything's set up the way that you want it to be set up. So thanks for watching the video.